विजिट माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट लर्न अभी डॉट कॉम और डाउनलोड अवर एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन नेटवर्किंग प्लस एंड प्रैक्टिस नेटवर्किंग क्विज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड मेनी मोर फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अभी सिक्योर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्निकल टैक्स लेट्स डी टैक्स बिगिन इन माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑन वी एल एस एम आई हेड आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन where i had asked you to find the ip address and the subnet mask for the network number 4 with the help of vlsm so as here you can see in the given diagram all the ip addresses for all the networks are mentioned but only the ip address of the network number 4 is missing so we are going to find the ip address for the network number 4 with the help of vlsm But before that, if you have not yet watched my previous video on VLSM, then I will highly recommend you to watch that particular video because I have explained you everything about VLSM from the beginning. So if you want to watch it, check the link in the description section below. Now let's get back to the computer screen and find out the IP address and the subnet mask for the network number four with the help of VLSM. So guys in my last video on PLSM at the end i had asked you one simple question and and the question is according to this diagram where the network number 1 is mentioned as 192.168.5.64 with the cid value +26 network number 2 ip address starts from 192.168.5.128 with the cid value +26 and the network number 3 ip address starts from 192.168.5.192 with the cid value +28 here the ip address of all the networks are given but only the ip address of the network number 4 is not given and we have to find that particular address and the according to this diagram the requirement of network number 4 is 14 host means total 14 host ip addresses are required for this particular network now how to find the ip address of this particular network i'm going to explain you right now so watch this video till the end so let's start with the beginning of vlsm see guys whenever you are doing the vlsm make sure first of all you have to identify the network with the highest number of ip address and you have to arrange all the network in the descending order according to question the requirement of ip address in the network number 1 and network number 2 is more for this reason here the cid value is given as slash +26 now the ip address of network number 1 is starts from 192.168.5.64 and here the given cid value is slash +26 see guys this cid value indicates the total number of network bits so here the cid value is 26 means total 26 bits are reserved for the network and only 6 bits are remaining in the host part and the formula for counting the number of ip address is 2 to the power n where n indicates the total number of host bits so here the total number of host bits is only 6 so 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64 it means there is only 64 ip addresses available on the network number 1 so 64 plus 64 is equal to 128 got it here it comes 128 why this is because 64 ip addresses are available on the network number 1 so 64 plus 64 is equal to 128 got it so for this reason here the ip address is 192.168.5.128 and here you can notice that even for the network number 2 the cid value is mentioned as slash +26 it means even for this network there are only 64 ip addresses available so again 128 plus 64 is equal to 192 so the ip address of network number 3 is start from 192.168.5.192 and here the given cid value is 28 that is slash +28 okay see the cid value means the total number of network bits so in this example the total number of network bits is 28 okay so how many remaining host bits are available here 
we have only four host bits remaining. So the formula for counting the number of IP address in a network is 2 to the power n where n indicates the total number of host bits. So here we have only four host bits available. So the number of IP address on this network number 3 is 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 16 means only 16 IP addresses are available on the network number 3. So 192 plus 16 is equal to 208. So the network number 4 IP address will really start from 192.168.5.208. See guys the requirement of host on the network number 4 is only 14. For this reason even for this network number 4 you have to reserve only 4 bits for the host because 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 and 16 is the closest number to this 14 am i right so this is how easily we have found the ip address and the CADR value of network number 4 with the help of vlsm now see let's go forward so even in network number 4 the total number of ip address is 16 so 208 plus 16 is equal to 24. So the IP address of network number 5 will start from 192.168.5.224 and here we have given the CADR value as slash 30. This is because here we need only two IP addresses. See two IP addresses are required for connecting these two routers together. Okay. Same, same like network number 5 the requirement of IP addresses for the network number 6, 7 and 8 is only 222. Two, two. So for all this network the CIDR value will be only 30. So hence the CIDR value of network number 5 is 30 means only 2 bits are reserved for the host. So 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So 224 plus 4 is equal to 228. And the network number 6 IP address starts from 192.168.5.228. Now the network number 7 IP address will start from 192.168.5.232. And the network number 8 IP address will start from 192.168.5.236. Got it? So this is how easily you can do the VLSM. Now here is a table where I have mentioned each and everything which is related to this particular example. So here is the network ID, here is the ranges of IP address, here is the broadcast address, here is the subnet mask, here is the CADR value. So here I have mentioned everything for all these 8 different networks. So go through this and your all the doubt will be clear. Anyhow if you have any doubt or if you want me to ask a question then feel free to let me know in the comment section below I will try to help you. So guys it's time for the surprise test and our today's question is according to this diagram. So as here you can see the network number 1 is assigned with the IP address 192.168.10.0 with the CIDR value 26 and here you have to find the IP address with the subnet mask for network number 2, 3 and 4. So according to this question, the requirement of network number 2 is 30 host IP addresses. The requirement of network 3 is 14 host IP addresses and the requirement of network 4 is 6 host IP addresses. So try to find the answer and let me know in the comment section below and let's find out whether you are able to pass the test or not. And if you want to try more submitting quiz or more VLSM quiz then visit my website www.learnabhi.com or download our Android application Networking Plus. For more information check the link in the description section below. So guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and if you are watching this video for the first time in my channel then click here to subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that in future whenever I upload a new video you will get a notification update. Thanks for watching.